Hey guys, welcome back to Sugar and Spice with Lakshmi. So today's video is a super simple and delicious paneer piece pulao recipe. This is a super quick and easy recipe that you can whip up in your pressure cooker in no time. And it is a great lunch option. You literally don't need any curry to enjoy this. You just need some raita. So without any further delay, let's quickly go and check out this recipe. So we need very few ingredients and a pressure cooker to make this delicious pulao. So in my pressure cooker, I'm adding around 3 tablespoons of ghee. Now you can reduce the amount of ghee and just increase the amount of oil if you like. But this pulao tastes really good if it's made in ghee. Now into the hot ghee, I'm adding in my paneer cubes. Now go ahead and fry the paneer cubes to golden perfection on both the sides. Now since my uh, pressure cooker was not a non-stick one, it started sticking but don't worry, you can just uh, take it out. All these uh, bits that have stuck to the bottom and have caramelized, they taste really good in the end and will come off of the uh, pressure cooker when we make the pulao. So just take out the paneer pieces and keep it aside. Now into the same ghee, go ahead and add in two bay leaves and a teaspoon of jeera seeds. Let it crackle. Now add in one onion that has been sliced and let the onions saute for a little bit. Now once the onions have become a little translucent, go ahead and add in your ginger garlic paste and saute it until the raw smell goes. Once that is done, add in your green peas. Now I'm using fresh green peas. You can use frozen green peas as well. It works really well with both the kinds. Don't use dry green peas though. That will be a totally different recipe. You can use either fresh or frozen. Now into this, I'm adding basmati rice. Now I have just washed the rice and given it a soak for about 5 minutes. Just until when the paneer was frying and everything. That's all. Now give all of this a really good mix and fry the rice in the ghee for about a minute. Now into this I am adding in some water. I have given the measurements down below in the description. For every cup of rice you have to add one and a half cup of water. It's just normal water. And I am adding in salt to taste. Now after adding all of this give it a good mix and let it come to a boil on high flame. Once it is boiled add, add back your paneer. Give it one good mix. And let it come to a good boil. Once it is boiled, cover your pressure cooker and let it cook for one whistle on high flame. Reduce the flame to low and let it cook for 3 minutes. Do not count the number of whistles, just let it cook for 3 minutes. And let the pressure subside on its own and once you open your delicious paneer piece pulao is ready. Just fluff up the rice using a fork and you can serve this immediately warm. And as I said, you don't need any curry with this in fact you really don't even need a raita it just tastes so rich and delicious as it is so do give this a try guys That's it for today guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that recipe. If you did, don't forget to click on that like button. Try this recipe out. Subscribe to my channel. Share this video with your friends and family. And don't forget to comment below for more recipes. And check out all my other recipes. If you do try any of my recipes, do let me know down below in the comments. Or share me your pictures on Instagram and Facebook. And do follow me there so that we can stay connected. So until I catch you guys next time with another tasty recipe. Take care. Bye-bye.